when you're buying a property that is under construction, you can do it everything from abroad, no need to come here. When you transfer the money, you're not transferring it to the developer, you're not transferring it to the, to the brokers, you transfer it to the specific bank account. Uh, whatever, guys, you can see around, uh, wasn't here 20 years ago. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I have a guest, my husband Dennis. He's a real estate agent. And in this video, we're gonna talk about how to buy an apartment in Dubai. Please, can you tell us uh, what are the main things people need to know if they want to buy property in Dubai? Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, well, first of all, uh, people need to know that uh, here in Dubai, we have two types of uh, areas where people can buy a property. One of them is called freehold, another one is leasehold. If you are a foreigner, you can own a property only in the freehold areas. And if you are considering a leasehold, there you can buy a, a right to use the property, basically a lease for a long period of time, like 99 years. It's usually whatever you can see online that uh, are for sale, it's a freehold property and especially new developments. And uh, basically developers uh, as well are building mainly in the freehold. Uh, but just keep it in mind that uh, if you buy a property and you are the foreigner, you need to focus on the freehold uh, areas. This is one of the important things that uh, people need to know. And another thing is that uh, when you are purchasing uh, the property in Dubai, uh, like if it's a freehold, you become a proper owner and uh, even like uh, your kids can inherit uh, the property because there are some things related to, to the uh, Muslim countries where uh, there is a specific law for the inheritance. Here it doesn't really apply, so if you buy the property, you're a proper owner and then your kids can uh, inherit it. Uh, so this is like some basic, basic things about the, the properties. And what is the difference between ready property and off-plan property? Okay, um, in Dubai, as Dubai is a young city, uh, whatever guys you can see around, uh, wasn't here 20 years ago. Uh, developers are keep on building uh, here uh, new projects because it's a young city, yes, yeah, I said. So as a buyer, you can choose between uh, the ready property or uh, you can buy a property that is still under construction. So what are the main differences there? So when you're buying a property that is still under construction, first of all, you don't have to put all the money up front because there are uh, payment plans and you need to follow the installments. In some cases, uh, even the developer can give you the keys before you even finish uh, all payments. So there is a post handover payment plan. So let's say you paid 50%, you can get the keys and you have three years to cover another 50%. And right now it's a very, very popular uh, payment plan. Um, and uh, obviously when you are buying from the developer, you have uh, more option to choose from rather than on the resale market because like okay there is a person who wants to sell his property but this is a three bedroom apartment on the seventh floor it's not like you want to buy a three bedroom apartment on the higher floor lower floor so from the developers usually it's uh, it's easier the advantage of the resale uh, market is that uh, there especially with the current situation uh, there are some uh, sellers who urgently needs money and uh, they might sell it uh, like uh, below the market price. So this is an advantage of the uh, resale market. When you're buying a property that is under construction, you can do it everything from abroad, no need to come here. And uh, like 90% of transactions right now are happening this way. So you don't have to be here because uh, here we have all the structure, all, all the laws and regulations that protects interest of the investor who's buying from abroad. And on secondary market, you need to come here and it usually takes around one month, one month and a half to complete the transaction. This is, these are some of the main uh, differences. What are the documents required to buy property in Dubai? It's very, very simple. Uh, you need to have your passport copy and you, have the, you need to have a money. <laughs> the, the, uh, basically, that's it. Uh, when it comes to the uh, off-plan purchase, pro uh, when you buy from directly from the developer, as I said, you can do it everything from abroad. So we just need your passport copy. Uh, this, that's it from the documents. Obviously, we need your email, you need, we need your address, you need your phone number. And the developer will prepare the reservation agreement. He will send it to the, uh, to the client. And uh, uh, like everything is very, very uh, simple. Yeah! Oh, it's so simple. For the secondary market, it's uh, pretty much the same. If it's a cash purchase, you just need to have your passport copy and the money. Uh, for the mortgage, uh, you need to have a pre-approval from the bank uh, before you start looking for, for the properties. And uh, then, again, it's a passport copy and some documents 
uh, from the bank. The process is uh, very simple and um, one more thing that I can highlight when it comes to the offline projects is that when you transfer the money, you're not transferring it to the developer, you're not transferring it to the, to the brokers, you transfer it to the specific bank account uh, that is called like escrow account. And uh, when you transfer this money to this bank account, uh, the developer can just take it and use it for whatever reason he wants. Uh, this bank account is regulated by the government. The developer can use this money only towards the payment for the construction of, uh, of the property and a small part of it goes for the marketing. What are the most popular areas today where people buy properties? Mm -hmm. In Dubai it's usually uh, like the most popular areas are areas uh, that have access to the to the water, like waterfront uh, properties. So we're talking about Dubai Marina, Palm Jumeirah. Uh, specifically in this year, we have a very high demand for the townhouses. So uh, Dubai Hills, uh, there the prices increased significantly uh, during uh, this year. Overall, uh, the most popular area was and still remains Dubai Marina. What are the starting prices to buy property today? If it's a waterfront uh, project, a new development, it will be around like $320,000. It's for the one bedroom apartment. In, uh, in the areas that are not next to the water, uh, you can get the one bedroom for around $200,000. Mm -hmm. And the studio starts from $120,000. And again, you have a payment plan, so you don't have to put all the money up front. People should know to avoid scammers in Dubai when they buy property. Whenever it comes to the like big amounts of money, <laughs> there are always some kind of uh, risk uh, involved. Uh, but if the buyer is working with like a proper advisor, there is no chance that uh, he will end up in some kind of uh, scam. People need to keep in mind that whenever they're buying a property on the off-plan market, they should always pay their money only towards the escrow account. This is very, very important. How you can check if it's an escrow account or not, there are like uh, websites of Dubai Land Department where you can uh, search for the project and see if there is an escrow account or not. Even if somebody is saying you, this is an escrow account, this is an escrow, go and check it. The escrow account should have as well the name of the project in it. So if there is uh, ABC Tower where you want to buy, there should be ABC Tower uh, trust account or escrow account written on the, on the bank account. This is very, very important. Uh, I had a case uh, with my client who bought the property, he transferred the money to the escrow account. Uh, there were some issues with the project, he got his money back. Mm -hmm. uh, it took some time, but he got his money back. So, if you're buying an off-plan, please transfer the money only towards the escrow account. Don't transfer it to the developer account, because uh, you expose yourself uh, to the risk. For the resale, don't give any uh, checks to the seller before the transfer. You can give it to the broker, if it's a licensed broker. Uh, they can keep the check with them, but don't give any money to the seller before the transfer is, uh, uh, be before the transfer. Uh, because there are cases when uh, somebody is saying, oh, give me like 10% now, and uh, later on we will make and you will make, uh, and we will complete the transfer. They cash the check and they can disappear. So this is an important thing. And uh, the most important thing is like try to find a good uh, advisor with whom you can sit and discuss all uh, these things and who can assist you with uh, like uh, your research and can highlight some of the projects that might suit you. Okay, Dennis, thank you very much for this information. Guys, I will leave the link to his contact details in the description under this video. If you have any questions, you can always reach out to him. And thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Goodbye.